I see crabs of green and red crabs too. And I see the one superior and one smells like doggy doo. And I think to myself, they'd be better off dead. <laughs> All right. Well, this is not a crab madness episode. That's just an intro that I wanted to do for some reason. How's it going everybody? My name is Oompa and welcome back to Feed and Grow Fish. So guys, last time we played this, we got to play as the Hammerhead Shark and boy golly gee, it was a massive disappointment, just like the Swamp Lurker. Surprising, I know. Instead of trying to pretend like the Hammerhead Shark and the Swamp Lurker are actually cool, I'm gonna play as the underdog, all right? You guys may have remembered there was a specific fish that I bullied an awful lot in the last episode and it's not the goldfish, it's not the bluefish, it's not the Bebos, the Mongo, it's a little bit of this, I bullied that guy a little bit. I mean, <laughs> let's be honest here. I bullied that big four-headed bitch quite a bit. Look at him, he deserves to be bullied. But the one I bullied the most was the clownfish, or Nemo, I guess. Nemo, I bullied the hell out of Nemo. And would you look at that, guys, just at the sight of me, Nemo is cowering in fear. <laughs> Stay away from me, Stay away it's okay, Nemo, calm down. I want to become you. I want to get inside you and crawl around and control you or something along those lines. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take over Nemo. Nemo. <laughs> I added an L at the end of Nemo. That's not how you say Nemo, guys. I'm gonna take over Nemo and I'm gonna wreck every single punk bitch that gets in my way. Okay, guys, so prepare yourself, Nemo. Prepare yourself for greatness. Let's do this. There's a ball fruit over there. That is gonna be my first victim, without a doubt in my mind. Good God, this guy is fast, and I'm already level four. <laughs> One ball fruit sends a little tiny Nemo straight to level four, closer to his goal of greatness. I'm gonna kill one of these bluefish down here. Come here, you little bluefish son of a bitch. Yeah, come on, let me bite you, asshole. Wait a second, is Nemo a vegetarian? Don't tell me Nemo is a veg- Nemo's a vegetarian, that's bullshit. So I have to eat fruit and vegetables and stuff to get big? I mean, I can't, I can't absorb any, any little octopi. No wonder they're not scared of me. Cause, oh wait, I can kill him. Yes, die little octopus. I was wondering why he wasn't running away from me. For some reason I couldn't kill the bluefish. That's kind of interesting. I'll tell you one thing that Nemo sure does like in his mouth. Giant sack, giant green purple nodule sack. Look at that Taisuki down there, holy shit. That guy got big and he's bullying mongos. Don't be bullying mongos, dick. I'll bite you in your giant eyeball. Look how useless this fella is. What is this thing doing right now? <laughs> how did it get so big? Let's kill it, come on, mongo, help me out here. Come here, you Taisuki giant four-headed son of a nutcracker. What's he trying to eat? He's trying to eat, uh, he's trying to eat starfish and stuff. Bite onto his giant eyeballs. Squeeze his head in, chop his fins off. God damn it, taunt him or do something. Look, I'm attacking him in his mouth and he's still not He's still not defending himself. Come on, Nemo. Let's whoop this fat, ugly bastard's ass. Chew his flappy fins off. His stupid flappy fins are just flapping. They're flapping around. I don't like it. It's making me uncomfortable. <laughs> but seriously though, how much how much health does this guy have? Is he OP or what? I mean, this is ridiculous. Even the Mongo's like, come on, just take him down. Just kill this poor guy. There we go. I got him. That is gonna that is gonna give me a massive chunk of flesh, that's for sure. I'm just happy that Nemo's not a vegetarian. For a second I thought Nemo was a vegetarian. I wonder why I couldn't kill that little blue fish. That was strange. Whatever. I killed myself a trophy Taisuki. That's something to write home to mommy about. <laughs> hey mommy! I killed the scar with a really big forehead! <laughs> chunk. 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 Chunk! Seriously, chunk him, come on. I'm gonna go drag him into my anemone uh, nest or whatever they are. I think clownfish live in anemones. Anemone? Pretty sure clownfish live, live in anemones. It's a symbiotic relationship. See the clownfish, they take the food into the anemone and they provide protection to the anemone. Or no, it's the other way around. I'm not well versed on my marine biology, guys. Okay, there's a hammerhead. Got killed by a hammerhead. I feel like that's what I did a lot. Look, he stole my tasuki meat too, that ass. Why'd you do that? I was trying to enlighten people about the marine biology of clownfish and their anemone counterparts. What a rascal. Very smug too, I don't, I don't appreciate that. You can be a rascal, just don't be a smug rascal. All right, I'm gonna bully another Tasuki. <laughs> I'm pretty smug whenever I'm killing these poor Tasuki fellas. You're nothing compared to me, Tasuki! <laughs> I don't really know how to be smug, guys. I'm sorry. These guys really are totally useless though. This is embarrassing. You're an embarrassment. Tasuki, you're an embarrassment to the ocean. You're an embarrassment to all the local fauna of the sea. You seriously, you should just, you should just run away. All right. 
Turns out I'm also an embarrassment, guys. I'm also an embarrassment. Why do I keep getting killed by giant mean fish? I don't understand. What did I ever do? Aside from kill a Tatsuki, but who cares about Tatsukis? No one. Precisely no one. I'm gonna eat this starfish because it can't fight back. Well, actually, my problem isn't things fighting back. It's things just, just killing me for some reason. I still can't tell if this game has gotten easier or more difficult. It's really difficult to judge. Look at that tiger shark down there with a giant blood chunk taken out of it. Is it stuck right now? <gasps> oh, look at all this meat. Please don't absorb me. Just let me have some of this meat here. Oh my God. I formed a symbiotic relationship. Woo, let's get out of here. I was just about to say I formed a symbiotic relationship with the uh, tiger shark in the same way a clownfish forms one with it an anemone or whatever it is. Look at those giant fellas stuck over there. <laughs> Idiots. I'm level 11 now, so that's pretty, that's pretty spectacular. I'm just gonna try to scavenge it a little bit maybe. It seems to be the best strategy with this clownfish because I keep getting nailed from behind. <coughs> I mean, obviously I'm not camouflaged at all, so that makes a little bit of sense. I'm just like a, a orange giant blimp floating around just asking to be eaten. <laughs> so no wonder I keep getting killed. That's why I think the scavenger method is probably the best method when you're when you're talking about clownfish here, guys. I mean, oh, there's red crabs. That's what I needed to do. Just bully all these little stupid red crabs. Die, you little son of a bitch. Get into my anemone. Dragging you back to my anemone. Whoa, that is a large kledge. I'm gonna go this direction over here, guys. This Taisuki just ate one of my ball fruits, so I'm gonna eat him in return. Don't you know that I claim dominion over all the ball fruits of the ocean, Taisuki? Don't you know that? I mean, even if you didn't eat a ball fruit and I just saw you swimming around, I'd still kill you. But uh, just because you ate the ball fruit, it makes me want to kill you even more. So just letting you know. I'm getting pretty darn large right now. I'm level 21. And there's some bad guys over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna fly over this way. I don't think I want to be around anything that could possibly kill me. I don't want to take any risks as I'm I'm a pretty high level, and this is kind of the point of no return, where if you play it safe and make it past this level, it's pretty difficult to fail. What is that over there? Oh, it's that giant kledge. There's a massive octopus. Holy crap. <laughs> giant Nemo versus massive octopus! Round one! That was very lackluster. Huh? That kledge got me. That kledge got me. You son of a bitch. That's disappointing. I made it to level 20, level 23 or something. I'm basically back to where I was and now I'm gonna keep it safe and I'm gonna stay in the shallow area just killing things that, that can't fight back and can't kill me. And I'm gonna see just how big I can get Nemo. I'm shooting for level 50. I think that's within the realm of possibilities. So that's what I'm gonna try for. Big Papa Nemo, level 50. Hell yeah, ruler of the ocean, terror of the sea. Assassinos de la... C. I don't know how to say C in uh, in Spanish. Senor Nemo! Look at this little tiny brow rag down here. I'm definitely gonna kill this little fella. You're gonna die, buddy. You're gonna get killed by a giant Nemo. Wow, is that embarrassing? <laughs> Poor thing, he's running for cover. I believe brow rag contained the sweetest of all the meats in the ocean, guys. So this is this is quite a treat for Nemo here. And how many levels am I gonna go up for this? A lot, I hope. 39, almost level 40. I'm so close to my goal. This is insane. Ooh, there's a hammerhead. And I'm exacting my revenge now. Wow, that was quick. That was really quick. That's what you get, hammerhead, for, for messing with Nemo. Wouldn't that have been hilarious if a giant Nemo killed me in the last episode while I was being a, a hammerhead? A giant angry Nemo. Did I kill this dude already? Why is he not fighting back right now? This is insane. Nemo goes in for the kill. Manilin's down, down for the count in round one. Five seconds into round one, Nemo takes over the Nilin. The Nilin rolls on his belly, which usually means he's dead, I think. For fish, I think. I'm not a doctor, but I think so, guys. I'm not a fish doctor. I killed the Nilin already, and he's much, much, much larger than Nemo. This is gonna provide Nemo with so much meat. I'll never have to eat again. I think that's how it works. Oh, look at that. Giant, giant, massive chunks of sausage and, and various other uh, processed meats. Wow. Up four levels just from one massive Nilin at level 52 all the way to level 56, guys. I don't think there's a soul in the ocean who can take Papa Nemo right now. I'm leveling up really quickly. I think I'm gonna try to make it to level 100. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm already level 67. I mean, come on! Oh, look at this. A whole army of Tatsukis. They're gone. <laughs> Except for one. I think he has a message for his comrades. Oh my god, I'm disgustingly ugly. Tell my big four-headed friends I love them. I think we should have a moment of silence for this Tatsuki as he went out on a shield like a real man should. Level 100! Level 100 Nemo in the house, guys! 
He's so big. I'm just going to start killing everything I see now. There's no point in living anymore. <laughs> I'm too fat for my own damn good. Why did I become this part? This is a huge mistake. Uh, that was a, that was a, that was a shameful mime. Oh, look at that. King Bebos versus King Nemo. Hell yeah, we're doing it, boys. Oh, shit. That was a mistake. That dude killed me right off the bat. <laughs> wow. All right, well, that's a hell of a way to end the, uh, end the episode with a mentally crushing defeat. So, thank you all for watching this episode of Feed and Grow Fish. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below and subscribe if you've not already. And we'll see you in the next episode when I get my freak on with an anemone, baby. <laughs>